The Duke of Edinburgh is accompanied by Princess Alexandra of Kent and Princess Marguerite of Denmark at the Lord's Taverners Ball in London. The Lord's Taverners, whose name sounds very noble but actually comes from Lord's Cricket Ground, remember it's Prince Charles' birthday. So the Master of Ceremonies, John Snag, gives the Duke a cricket bat to take home to him. An Olympic torch lights up the festivities. Or it will if Mr Pastry can get it burning properly. And now let battle commence. Nobody's quite clear where this race starts from, how long it is, where it's supposed to finish, or just what you have to do to win it. Least of all, Mr. Pastry. <laughs> They're off at last, and with so much evening dress around, running shorts don't seem quite smart enough. So the first thing to do is to get some clothes on, any clothes. are quite simple. To win, your name has to be Mr. Pastry. So once his trousers are more or less on, the judges proclaim him Victor Lodorum, which is Latin for, well, for Mr. Pastry. Pastry is the Victor Lodorum. In accordance with tradition, the victor is crowned. Surprising as it may seem, all this has some connection with sport. It's in aid of the National Playing Fields Association.